There are certain artworks that I'm attracted to, but I can't put my finger on why I'm attracted to them. This is one of those artworks. I first saw this last year, and I was instantly mesmerized. I just had to save the file in my computer because I knew I was going to revisit it later on and try to recreate it in my own art style. Now, I also have an affinity for medieval paintings, and this is definitely from the Middle Ages. And so I had assumed this was another painting, but as it turns out, it's actually an embroidered piece of artwork. This is how the original looks like. It's actually part of a series of tapestries called the Unicorn Tapestries. And this particular one is called the Unicorn Defends Itself or the Unicorn Defending Himself. Now, I took art history in college, but I can't recall seeing this being discussed in class. Perhaps I wasn't paying attention, but when I saw this last year, that was the first time I was seeing it. And I was already compelled to recreate it. I just needed to find the right time. And so a few months ago, there was one weekend when my internet went down and there was heavy rain and nothing to do. And so it was the perfect moment to try and recreate this artwork. And so I put pencil on paper and started to create the underdrawing. And as I was appreciating the recreation process, it reminded me of when I was a child trying to mimic the behavior of adults in an attempt to try to better understand, better appreciate why they do what they do in the way that they do it. Like, why do they cook? Why do they prepare food a certain way? Why do they wake up so early to step out and come home late at night, usually with a certain facial expression, usually that of relief that they're back home. And so as a child, I just couldn't fully appreciate that just by lack of experience didn't have the capacity to understand it from their point of view and so my best attempt at trying to understand it is through mimicry through embodying that behavior to see if it's going to spark something in me uh, by repeating the same actions and so in a way i'm doing a similar process with this art recreation of an old artwork trying to channel that artist who created this tapestry by recreating his artwork albeit in my own art style but still trying to follow his composition like in each character and its placement in the canvas but i have no way of really clarifying what went on in his mind why he chose this composition why he chose these symbolisms and these colors there's no way for me to directly ask him now that he's long gone centuries ago and so my best attempt would be to just recreate the art embody the whole art creation process albeit i'm using a different set of materials but there is a difference though between this scenario and when i was trying to mimic adult's behavior as a child. As a child, I was doing it because I was familiar with the people that I was trying to mimic. Usually my parents are family members, but with recreating all the art, I'm usually not familiar with the artwork, <laughs> like this one. I went about it not knowing what it's about, where it came from, what was its history. I didn't even know the name of the artist who created it. And I found out actually nobody knows. <laughs> so I had no context whatsoever, but I was already drawn to recreate it, to mimic it. And so that made me wonder, why is that? And I think I'm beginning to understand it now. I think it's because I find something admirable in the artwork in and of itself. And that alone is sufficient to drive me to want to recreate it, to mimic it, to emulate it. Because when you come to think about it, we tend to mimic those whom we admire. And when you look at it the other way around, you could figure out whom people admire based on who they're trying to copy. So that was the motivation behind this Sunday sketch. 
In my last behind the sketch video, a few months ago, I mentioned what got me to start this Sunday sketch routine, and it's really just a prompt to get me to draw something or paint something at least once a week to push me to maintain that sketch routine to practice my skills. And so having done this for quite some time now, I noticed that it has now evolved to this, to me wanting to recreate old artwork in my own art style. And in the process, I'm discovering stories I've never heard before. All right, I'll see you in the next video.